everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I have a little furry friend with me. This is Tino. Those of you guys who are returning may remember Tino. He's been in at least two of my videos. I did take him to TJ Maxx on a little TJ Maxx makeup trip, and then about a month or two ago, he was in my video when I did a little PR unboxing, so you guys may remember him. You probably didn't know this about him, though. He is pretty deaf. <laughs> He lost his hearing about a year ago. He will hear if you yell at him, like, like use a loud voice, he'll hear. But we noticed that he was not hearing, like, the doorbell ring or the garage door open because normally when those things happen, he would, like, freak out and bark, and he doesn't do it anymore because he can't hear it. And if you look closely at his eyes, they're all super cloudy. Sometimes he bumps into things, so he's... <laughs> kind of going blind as well. He's 14 years old, so he's pretty old. I mean, he has a little toy dog, so they last a while, but... So today I wanted to do the Dog Picks My Makeup Challenge, and I thought it'd be kind of funny with a dog who's both going blind and deaf. <laughs> Put a little spin on it. I hope that you guys enjoy. We will see if we can create a look using the products that he picked. If you are new to my channel and as you watch you like what you see, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you leave here and tap that notification bell as well if you want to be notified when I upload a video. Other than that though, let's get right on into this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to put you down, buddy. You can just wander around. You might hear his little nails running across the floor, but I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. Okay, starting with primer, let me show you what Tino picked. Pick a primer, Tino. We have Charlotte Tilbury. This is like a glowy primer. Then we have the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. And then a Paula's Choice, what is this, a smoothing primer. Whichever one he sniffs first. What's on the floor? No, that's paper. Which one do you sniff? Oh, okay, Charlotte Tilbury, Wonder Glow. You silly. So Tino picked the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. He has very expensive taste. I've actually really loved using this as a primer. I think you can mix this into foundation or use it as highlight, but I like using it as a primer. So I'm really happy that he chose it because I don't think I've used this on my channel as a primer before. So now you guys will get to see it. So I just apply this all over and it gives the most beautiful golden glow to your skin. So next I let Tino pick my foundation. So let's see what he picked. Okay, now for foundation. Dior? The one he's standing by is the Dior Forever Foundation. Then I have Too Faced Born This Way and then I have the Smashbox Studio Skin. I don't think I've used this on camera yet. It's also not really my shade right now, so I kind of hope he doesn't pick that, but the Too Faced one? No, you like that Dior one. Okay, we're going to go with the Dior one. Again, he picked, I think it was the most expensive foundation, very bougie dog. He's a full-bred Maltese, so why am I surprised? This is the Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear foundation. I'm using the AOA makeup sponge. It's really affordable. And I've been sick, so that's why I have a ton of redness right here, so I really want to make sure I cover that up. Let's see what Tino picked out for concealer. Can you move? Hello? Hold on. Hold on. You come here. Okay, so we have Tarte Shape Tape, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the new one I've been loving, and then the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer that I don't really love. I haven't used it in a while though, so let's see what Tino picks. Which one? You have to pick one. Oh, do you pick the e.l.f. one? You pick this one? Okay, Tarte Shape Tape it is. So this is not a new one for my channel. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Thank you, Tino. This is my favorite concealer. I do still really love the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. 
it's basically a dupe so keep that in mind as well if you don't want to splurge on the Tarte Shape Tape get that elf camo concealer so this I'm just going to apply under my eyes down the nose a little bit forehead whoa that was a lot chin and then just cover up any redness that was a lot on my forehead <laughs> Okay, next step would be to set my under eyes. So let's see what Tino picked for a setting powder. Setting powder, which one? We've got Cody Airspun. He's gonna pick that one because it has the most fragrance probably. Laura Mercier and Maybelline Fit Me. Which one? This one, this one, or this one? That one, okay. Tino finally decided to save some coin and he picked the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I actually just used this in a tutorial. I think he actually kept going to sniff it because it has such a fragrance to it. I don't love the fragrance, but it just smells like baby powder, like straight up baby powder. So I'm just going to bake a little bit under the eyes. I'm not going to leave it there long though because I'm super dry right now. And then I'm going to take whatever is left in the cap or at least a tiny bit of it and dust that over the rest of my face just to set the foundation down. It's actually a really nice translucent powder even though I'm super dry right now. It's not making me look like even more dry. Okay, next up is bronzer. Let's see what Tino picked. Okay, so this one right here is Becca Ipenema Sun. Then we have Palladio Matte Baked. And then we have MAC Give Me Sun. You just literally picked all three. You have to pick one. Sniff one. Which one? You like the Becca one? You keep tripping over that one. Do you want this one, this one, or this one? You like that one? Okay. So Tino picked the Becca, what is this? Becca Sunlit Bronzer. I have not used this in so long. I'm kind of happy he picked it because I just want to kind of test it out. It's really dark and I'm not self-tanned right now or anything, so we're going to have to be careful. This is the shade Epanema Sun. I think it's one of the deeper shades. Oh yeah. We're going to be just fine. It's a very nice warm bronzer. Again, he picked something super expensive. Tino, he's laying right down by my feet. You have expensive taste, dude. Next up is blush. Let's see what the little doggo picked. So we have Anastasia Beverly Hills, Tarte, and then Makeup Revolution. Which blush? Do you want this blush, this blush, or this blush? This one? You want this one? Hello? Okay, we're gonna go with Tarte. This was a tough one. He did not want to pick a blush, so I kinda helped him pick one. He picked the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in the shade Party. It's a mini one. I think this was like a birthday gift. It's a really pretty shade. I forget how much I like this. It's super natural. Okay, I only literally have one brow product that I use, so I couldn't really let Tino pick that. I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill today. This is a really good drugstore option. L'Oreal also has like a skinnier one that I really love as well. It's called the Brow Stylist Definer instead of Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. So I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm going to do this off camera. I just did this in my last tutorial a little bit, and I have a full brow routine on my channel. So if you want to check that out, go for it. Okay, brows are done. Next, I'm going to do eyeshadow. So let's see what Tino picked for an eyeshadow palette. Tino, move it. We have to pick an eyeshadow palette. Can you move back? We have to assess all three. So we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette, or the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. Come pick a palette. You want the, oh, Norvina or Jaclyn? Which one? Norvina? So Tino picked the Norvina palette, and I'm really excited about this because I haven't used it on my channel in a while, and I actually haven't used it just in general in a while, and it's a very pretty palette. I don't have any idea what sort of look I want to do. 
let's just dive right in. I'm going to take the shade Incense. This is normally the shade I start with in this palette, just in the crease. I'm using an MOTD Seamless Sheer Blend Brush. Put that through the crease. So easy to blend. I feel like I should use some purple because it is a purple palette. So let's go into Soul in the crease. Hopefully that lays over incense okay. We'll see. Yeah. Thought it might look like a little bit of a bruise or something, but... Okay, I'm going to go in with Rose Gold. This one right here on the lid, and then I think I'm going to take some purple shimmer, like, underneath. We'll see. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, there's so much fallout with these shimmers, though. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just go back in with Soul, that purple shade, and blend the edges. Okay, now for under the lash line, I think I'm going to try and take this brighter purple shimmer and just see what happens. I have a smudgy brush from Carity. That's better. I feel like I look like I have a bruised eye. <laughs> Hopefully once we do mascara and lashes, it'll all come together. Hey, what lashes? We've got three different kinds of lashes. These are really natural. These are pretty intense, and then those are like long Intense, but like just long. Oh, you want the middle one? Oh, you want the end? Okay, which one? Do you know? Do you want this one or this one? You want this one? Okay. I didn't have Tino pick a mascara because I wanted him to pick lashes. If you're using lashes, the mascara you use is not really a big deal. So Tino picked these lashes. These you can get on Beauty Big Bang. I will link them down below. They're really nice um, and really, really affordable. So I'm going to apply these. Okay, lashes are on. I love these lashes. So next I'm going to do lips and I totally forgot to have Tino pick a lip product. So I have to go get him and we're just going to do it like right here. All right, and I threw in a wild card color too. I really hope he doesn't pick it, but I threw in a bright red with a couple others. So I have this one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Hydra Matte 1995. I have the red one from Too Faced, their Melted Matte Collection, and then I have Kylie Coco K. So can you please pick one? Okay, Gerard Cosmetics it is. Thank you, buddy. I have to line my lips before I apply that, so I'm just going to use this from Gerard Cosmetics. It's their Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil. I have not used this shade in a while, so let's see. I think it's a pretty, like, deep nude. Oh, it's, it's dark. Super pretty color. It's a little dark and intense especially with this eye look but we're gonna go with it so next is setting spray before highlights so let's see what Tino picked okay Tino we have the Lila B a glow face mist Gerard Cosmetics slay all day or NYX dewy finish which one do you pick oh you picked the NYX one no Gerard oh Oh, you like that one. Okay. So Tino picked another Gerard Cosmetics product. This is the Slay All Day Setting Spray. I really like this stuff. So I'm going to let that dry. Let's see what Tino picked out for highlight. Okay, now we're picking a highlight palette, Tino. We've got Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. We've got, oh, Ofra. Or we've got Gerard Cosmetics. Which one? You sniffed all three equally. One. Oh. You want Gerard Cosmetics? I think you like Gerard Cosmetics. Is this the one you want? Yeah, he just gave me a kiss. Okay, this is the one he wants. So Tino picked another Gerard Cosmetics product. I don't know what Gerard Cosmetics has in their products, but 
animals love it. This is the Grace Powder. It's one of their star powders. This has actually been one of my favorite highlighters the last month or so, so I'm super glad he picked it because I don't think I've used it on camera much, and I've been meaning to talk about it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the cheekbones, maybe the inner corner because it's nice and intense. Look how pretty. I love this stuff. You really should check out their highlighters. I do have a discount code with them as well. It will be down below in the description bar if you want to shop. This is like a glamorous look, Tino. Jeez. Where do you think I'm going today? Sometimes it's hard to find a good inner corner highlight when you're more fair because they just don't pop or like show up. This one's a really good one. I'm also gonna take it on the brow bone. I've kind of been thinking like should I do a video on my favorite inner corner highlights for fair skin? I don't know if that'd be useful to any of you. I don't know if you come across those issues but for the longest time I could not find good inner corner highlights and like brow bone highlights that really popped. And I have quite a few now that I really like. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. So this is the finished look. Thank you, Tino, for all of your help today. He loves to rest his head on my shoulder. That's what he's doing. You being shy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That is it though, guys. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!